live. This is 8 News Now at 6. Former Nevada Senator Harry Reid says he's proud to have played a part in authorizing a secret Pentagon study of UFOs, a study that helped bring videos like this to light. Thanks for joining us here tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm John Langler. Christiane has the night off. The existence of this UFO study was first reported by the I-Team back in October. That's when a high-ranking intelligence officer in charge of the program quit to take a job with a private company. Over the weekend, news of Reed's role in the study surfaced in news reports. The senator gave his only on-camera interview to George Natcher. Well, we can say for sure that Harry Reed's interest in UFOs dates back at least to 1989, because that's when my own conversation on that subject began. In the years since, he has quietly collected more information, met with scientists, intelligence officials, and other experts, and finally helped authorize a study that was carried out by a company created by a Las Vegas billionaire. Since the story broke on Saturday, Reed has been bombarded with media requests, but he gave his only on-camera interview to the I-Team. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. The release this weekend of videos recorded by military pilots is unusual because officially the U.S. government stopped collecting information about UFOs in 1969 when the Air Force canceled Project Blue Book. But in the decades since, pilots and others continued to encounter technology that is beyond anything known on Earth. If China, Russia, Japan, other countries are doing this, and we're not, something's wrong. He said, because if the technology we have, the way these things are described and the way people see them, if this movement took place in anything we have now available to us, it would kill everybody. They couldn't withstand those G-forces. Something's sitting there and boom, down it goes. Former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid's interest in UFOs extends back to the 1980s. It was rekindled in the 90s when Reid spoke to Senator and former astronaut John Glenn about unknown aerial objects. Reid eventually met in a secure room in the U.S. Capitol to ask Senators Daniel Inouye and Ted Stevens if they would authorize funds for a quiet but serious study of UFOs. Both agreed. Are you glad um, the story's out? Yeah, I'm very glad because now we have scientific evidence. Reed says he's proud to have had a hand in kick-starting the Pentagon study, and contrary to some media reports, the information collected was impressive, he says. For nearly the last decade, I ran a sensitive aerospace threat identification program focusing on unidentified aerial technologies. It was in this position I learned that the phenomena is indeed real. Until three months ago, Luis Elizondo worked directly for the Secretary of Defense and was the Pentagon's point man for collection of data about mysterious encounters. When he announced in October he'd been in charge of a 10-year UFO study, the news was largely ignored by mainstream media. Now it has blossomed into a huge story, in part because Reed acknowledges his own role in getting the funds approved. Even though this was a secure program, we wanted to make sure that people couldn't complain that it was some sweetheart deal. No, put out the bid. The contract was posted for months. The Down winning bid came from Las tell. Vegas space entrepreneur Robert Bigelow, a billionaire who has funded his own UFO studies for years. Bigelow built secure facilities inside his aerospace company. At its peak, the study had 46 scientists working at the Nevada facility, writing reports and analyzing data that came in from the military. Rapid response teams were dispatched to the scene of UFO events. Over the five years, the project cost a total of $22 million. It wasn't a moneymaker for Bigelow. But I'm sure one reason it helped is he gave the best cost <laughs> because he was willing to... Uh, build the infrastructure, he did everything on his own because he, he liked the subject. In some news stories about the UFO study, anonymous staffers say Reed stopped supporting the study because it produced no solid information. Well, of course, Reed didn't kill the program. I wish it, I wish it were still going. 
So why did the study end? Reed and others involved in the project say one factor is that intelligence officials were petrified that someone would find out about it and it would end up on the front page of a newspaper. That cat is definitely out of the bag. And there were other officials who had religious objections. We'll have more exclusive content tomorrow, including specifics on what was learned during this study and which UFO incidents were the most unusual. And if you want to see those Pentagon UFO videos again, we're posting the link on our website. Right in our own backyard. Senator Reid looks good, doesn't he? <laughs> He's looking good, yeah. Thanks, George. Thanks, George. A once-secret Pentagon study of UFOs may be finished, but according to published reports, the U.S. government is still collecting information about encounters between unknown aircraft and our military. Now, so far, the government has not released official reports or any kind of findings from that study that was headquartered right here in southern Nevada. But the man who authorized that study knows a thing or two about some of the content. The I-Team's George Knapp is here with more from an exclusive interview with former Senator Harry Reid. Hi, George. A lot of stuff on, on the airwaves these oh, days. Yeah. I heard one critic of the UFO study said on cable news last night that, uh, of course, we should study unknowns but that are encountered by our military pilots, but we shouldn't study those UFOs. What? Uh, the study conducted here in southern Nevada had input from our best and brightest trained pilots and other observers backed up by radar returns, instrumentation, and sometimes physical evidence. One account came from a bomber pilot who later became a U.S. senator. I was flying, and there was an object next to me. I could not get rid of that. I couldn't. I slowed up, it would be there. I speed up, it would be there. I would dive, it would be there. He said, I called, nothing on radar. The story told to Harry Reid came from Republican Senator Ted Stevens, whose experience as a World War II bomber pilot was shared during a closed door meeting at the U.S. Capitol. Reid says that meeting in 2007 led to the funding for a clandestine study of UFOs. Reid had been approached by an unnamed intelligence official who felt the topic deserved study because of decades of spooky encounters between the U.S. military and unknown aerial objects like this one off the California coast in 2004. UFOs as big as airliners played cat and mouse with the USS Nimitz carrier group several times over a three-week period. This object, shaped like a giant tic-tac, performed seemingly impossible maneuvers. There's a whole fleet of them. Look on the ASA. My gosh. Another video recorded by military pilots caught glimpses of what aviators said was a fleet of unknown aircraft but are outmatched by a technology they've never seen. Clearly, this is not an experimental U.S. aircraft. But whose is it? How did it accomplish these feats? News of the encounter was first unveiled back in October during the launch of a public benefit corporation called To The Stars Academy. The bigger story was missed, namely that the video had been analyzed in the study initiated by Senator Reid. Results from the study have not been made public. Reid says the program cast a wide net and included incidents with clear national security implications, such as chilling reports in which UFOs hovered over American nuclear missiles basis as portrayed in this documentary UFOs and nukes but it's all in documents but scores and scores of mostly men up there would come out and look up there oh I wonder what that is it just and they wouldn't leave the communications in the missile defense installation was shut down didn't happen once, more than once. Reed says the study also investigated reports of USOs, unidentified craft detected underwater, and it incorporated the UFO files of several other nations, which have been more open about the issue. One aim of the study was to find out the origin of the craft. Intelligence officials ruled out the Russians or Chinese, but Reed says our adversaries are likely ahead of us in trying to duplicate this far superior technology. It's did you get any indication from people like the man you're talking about or others in the intelligence community or defense that Russia and China are looking at this stuff, are studying it? The answer is yes. Las Vegas businessman Robert Bigelow, whose aerospace facility housed the UFO study team, says he signed a strict non-disclosure agreement and cannot discuss the findings. Reid said the study produced voluminous reports, but was canceled because of fears within the intelligence community. Fear not only that the story would leak out, but fear based on religious beliefs of those who felt UFOs might be satanic. Did you ever hear that? opposition that maybe this is something evil yes 
Yeah, I, th I think that there are a lot of there's a lot of people who didn't like it for a number of reasons, and uh, religious, of, not affiliation, religious uh, views of people uh, didn't it didn't fit what they wanted to spend money on. Persons familiar with the five-year study told us the effort resulted in three dozen thick reports, some of them several hundred pages in length, as well as another three dozen or so technical reports which projected how this kind of exotic technology might usher in a new era of aviation and what that might mean. Uh, we don't know if that material will ever see the light of day. I kind of have my doubts about it. Tomorrow, Senator Reid will talk about whether he, we need congressional hearings on the subject of UFOs. Wouldn't you have liked to have been a fly on the wall for a couple of those meetings? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, George. Thanks, George. Former Nevada Senator Harry Reid thinks it might be time to hold congressional hearings into the mystery surrounding UFOs. In his only television interview, Reid told the I-Team about the pivotal role that he played in authorizing a secret Pentagon study of UFOs that ended five years ago. The project was based here in Nevada, carried out by a Las Vegas businessman who is no stranger to paranormal investigations. So tonight, George Knapp tells us how Robert Bigelow's mysterious ranch played a role in the Pentagon investigation. This picturesque ranch in northeastern Utah, long considered a hotbed of UFO sightings and other unexplained phenomena, played a pivotal role in the creation of the once secret Pentagon study of unknown aerial objects. In the mid 90s, Las Vegas billionaire Robert Bigelow bought the property and sent in his research team, the National Institute for Discovery Science, to study the ranch and the larger Uinta Basin. Over the next 10 years, NID scientists had dramatic encounters with the unknown, including daylight mutilations of livestock, mysterious aircraft, and discarnate entities. But this is a lot more than a UFO story, as you learn. This is a, a performance of, of anomalies that go back many, many years. Our 2007 conversation with Bob Bigelow never aired, but he told us then that his NIDS team experienced more than 100 baffling encounters, though they had no idea what was behind them. That we no longer have to worry about uh, aliens coming and taking people away. That's for somebody else to talk about. When Senator well, Reid and colleagues now. authorized funding for a Pentagon study, they made a point of saying this was not a search for little green men. Yeah. The primary aim was to identify, analyze, and eventually duplicate the otherworldly technology that had been demonstrated in multiple dramatic encounters involving the U.S. military. The phenomena is indeed real. The man who ran the Pentagon study, now, Lou Elizondo, resigned in October and has since said the technology of these craft is beyond anything known on Earth, but he declines to guess where it originates. No one involved wants to mention space aliens for obvious reasons. I'm not into that. I don't know anything about that. All I do know is that I am interested in science. What is going on? in our world. Investigating the source of the UFOs is the 800-pound gorilla in the room. Although Bob Bigelow dissolved his NIDS team and ended the study of the Utah ranch, in 2007, a book about the property caught the attention of the DIA and Senator Reid. Bigelow's previous experience in putting together a team to investigate weird phenomena was likely a factor in the decision to award him the contract to study UFOs. And sources familiar with the study say Pentagon investigators returned to the Utah ranch several times during a three-year period. When the New York Times broke its story, it reported that Bigelow built a special secure facility at his aerospace plant to store unknown materials supposedly obtained during the UFO study. I don't know. I don't know anything about exotic materials. Uh, I don't know. But, you know, there's been a lot of talk about that. But what he does know is that the explosion of news coverage about the UFO issue has caught the attention of Congress. They call it black money for a reason. Reed's phone started ringing immediately, he says. People from Congress and the business community who've always been interested in the subject but were afraid to admit it. Reed thinks the time may be right to relaunch a formal inquiry. Is this an appropriate topic for a congressional hearing of some sort? Would that be useful? Yeah, you and that, yes, George, it, now it's out. Why shouldn't they do this? You know, you, you take one airplane, you, you could want the cost of one military aircraft. Pick the cheapest one they have, cheapest one. 
give that money to this research. It's more important than that one airplane. We have enough bombs and bullets to take care of us for a long time, but we don't have enough scientific information to help my children, my grandchildren understand the future. George Knapp, 8 News Now. In all, about $22 million was spent between 2007 and 2012 when the study ended. Robert Bigelow sold his ranch last year. If you want to see our other stories based on the interview with Harry Reid, you can find all of them on our website at lasvegasnow.com.